America has got an advice addiction. Like if we want to know how to do something, we do the research. We find out what the experts say and we follow their advice to the T. And when that advice fails, like when that Pinterest craft doesn't turn out like the picture or when that magic text doesn't get a reply, we blame ourselves. It was foolproof, right? It looked so easy and everyone else said it worked for them. There is nothing worse than being the one person who can't manage to follow the instructions exactly and get the promised results, especially if the instructions you're following are supposed to get you love. Hi, I'm Amy Waterman, a dating and relationship expert with YourBrilliance.com. And in this video series, I am busting the myths of popular dating advice. And if you click that subscribe button right now, you can join me as we swap old-fashioned superstition for some super cool dating science. There is one big fat dating myth that we just need to explode right now. It's the myth that you've got to follow the rules if you want love. Now, if relationships were like cake, we would all be living happily ever after. Baking a cake is tricky at first, but it is super easy once you master the recipe. Well, isn't dating like that, right? It's tricky if you're trying to do it by the seat of your pants, so there must be a recipe that delivers a second date every time. Now there definitely are recipes out there. They'll tell you things like be sexy, let the man take the lead on everything, always be happy, never let him know how you feel and never ask too much of him. Unfortunately, those rules were developed over a hundred years ago, back when women didn't even have the right to vote. So why would any strong independent woman follow advice that ties her hand behind her back and makes her feel inauthentic. Well, it's that myth again. It's the myth that there's a set of rules you have to follow and you're not going to find love unless you obey them to a T. When an expert tells you that if you want to find love, you've got to play by the rules, then you play by the rules. You shrink to fit into that box. You make yourself look and act like everybody's supposed to look and act. What the experts won't tell you is that good men don't want you to play that game. They are tired of those old fashioned rules that require them to do all the pursuing. They're pressured, they're stressed, they can even feel used. They want women to step up and do their part. When dating rules keep us from going off script, then our dates end up boring. We stick to what's safe and we're not responsible for what happens because we did what we were supposed to do. It is risky to show up without a script. Be yourself and it feels incredibly personal if he rejects you. Show up as a sanitized, edited version of yourself and it's not gonna hurt so much if he doesn't wanna see you again. So no wonder we prefer to play by the rules and stay safe. But here's the problem. Those rules are actually shooting us in the foot. According to one survey, one of the biggest male turnoffs is being boring. Two thirds of men won't see a woman again if the date was boring. Economist Dan Ariely calls it bad equilibrium. Playing it safe is supposed to make everyone happy, but instead it just makes everyone forgettable. Another study found that nonconformist people are incredibly attractive to both men and women because you've got to have both power and status to have the guts to break the rules. So if you want to stick in a man's mind, then break the rules. Do not follow the same dating advice as all those other women out there. You don't want to be another sheep, no matter how cute and fluffy that wool makes you. You want to be the woman who surprises him because he has never met anyone else like you. It takes confidence, status, and strength to decide not to conform. But I know that you've got what it takes to break the mold. Do you want more videos like these? Then hit that subscribe button and join me as we discover the secrets of living your most brilliant life. And if you know of any other dating myths that need to be put to rest, then let me know in the comments. See you next time.